which brings up another mystery of another realm. The seed is linked to the Word. In Isaiah 55, it says this, For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and returns not there, but waters the earth and makes it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word that goes forth out of my mouth, it shall not return to me void, but shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing I have sent it. Here is a word that links what comes down from heaven like the rain, and then it specifically says seed and bears and the word of God. The word of God comes down from heaven is linked to like a seed giving life. But even more directly, listen to what Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus said. Luke 8. He says, now when a large crowd was coming together and those from the various cities were journeying to him, he spoke by, the way, by way of a parable. He said this, the sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some, you know it, fell by the road, was trampled underfoot, the birds of the sky ate it up, others fell on rocky soil. When it came up, it withered away with no moisture. Other seed fell among the thorns, the thorns grew up and around it choked it out, and yet other seed fell into good soil grew up and produced a crop a hundred times as much. And he said, he said these things, he would call out, the one who has ears to hear, let him hear. Now his disciples began asking him, what's the parable mean? And he said to them, to you it's been granted to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to the rest they are told parables, so they will, while seeing they will not see, while hearing they may not understand. Now this is the parable. I'm just going to read the very, this just one thing. He says this, the seed is the Word of God. The seed is the Word of God. Now we're just seeing the two realms coming together here. It says that outright, the seed is the Word. The seed is the Word. He's explaining, now, now, the, now the Lord doesn't make up parables loosely. He, he, every word, every part of it is going to mean something. The seed is the Word of God. The Word of God is a seed. How? A seed is of life. It's living. The Word of God is of life, it's alive. A seed brings forth life, the Word of God brings forth life. A seed is part of a harvest, the Word of God is part of the harvest. A seed is sown, the Word of God is sown. A seed is cast and scattered, dispersed, and so is the Word of God in the world. A seed is made for soil. The Word of God is also made for soil, I'll, I'll share that in a moment, I'll explain that. See, a seed initiates change, a new beginnings. The Word of God initiates change and begins new things. But let's go deeper. A seed contains information. The Word of God contains information. A seed contains hidden information, a code. The Word of God contains hidden information, a code. I'm not talking about the Bible code. I'm talking about something else. A seed contains information that initiates and directs specific change and life. The Word of God contains information that initiates and directs new life. Now think about a word. What does a word do? A word, when you speak, like I'm speaking now, transmits thought transmits reality, transmit, comes from a person, the word is an encoding of thought or a person's heart or a, representing a reality, and when the word is received, that code of the word gets decoded and you say, ah, he's talking about this. You say, well, how is it a code? Letters are just symbols. Words, sounds don't mean anything unless they are given meaning. You see, understand? I'm talking sounds, it's all symbols, but when you hear it, you are receiving it, you're hearing it when anybody talks, and you're decoding, well, that word means this, and that word means this, so this is what it means. So what was in, what, what I was thinking of, you now, you, are, you now know what it is. The reality of this, and same with it when you read it in a piece of paper. It, there's a reality behind this black and white, this is all symbols, but it's put into symbols, then it's taken out of the symbol when you receive it, and it becomes real, it becomes, in this case, life. So just like a seed has a code, and then it's, it's put into, and with a seed, you have a, you have a being, a life, and then, and then it, it becomes encoded in the seed, and then it, when it's received, it becomes another life. It's decoded. So a word is like a seed. A word is a seed. A seed is genetic. 
The Word of God, now you, well, I'll explain it, is also genetic. The seed transmits life through DNA. It comes from life, brings life, transmits life that gets decoded. The word gene or genetic comes from the Greek word genos, which means birth. And we get the word also genesis. The word generate. You sow a seed, you bring forth new life. 